Oh, that's what I thought. You listen to me. Yeah, it's all good. So, um, all I want to do, guys, is just show you how to graph, or at least the basic elements and tenets of graphing, okay? So, when graphing, well, just by graphing with the table method, all I asked you guys to do, which we wrote down in our little booklets last class period, right? You guys all wrote down this process. Then I asked you guys to do six problems, and then I gave you a homework quiz. This is all I expect you guys to do. The first thing is always, when dealing with the quadratic, is let's label our A, B, and our C. So therefore, A in this problem is going to be 2, B is negative 2, and C is 1. All right? It's the main important thing by dealing with your quadratic, because remember, all quadratic functions can be written in the form of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. All right? So now that we know what our a, B, and C are, we can find the axis of symmetry. <laughs> Remember, the axis of symmetry is a vertical line that says X equals opposite of B divided by 2A. So what we do is we take the opposite of B, which is positive 2 now, Mallory, 2 times A, which is 2. So therefore, we have 1 fourth which is our axis of symmetry. Okay, so okay. for those, we don't do the y intercept equals 0? No, we're just trying to, uh, we're not going to be dealing with the x and y intercepts right now. Okay, so, wait, I have a question. Oh, yeah, it is, that's 2. I'm sorry, yes, thank you. I have a question. When do we do, when do, we do those? When I ask you to find the x and y intercepts, then we're going to work on it. All right, just for right now, I'm just showing you how to use the table method. Do you understand how I got my A, B, and C? Okay, the formula for axis of symmetry is x equals opposite of B divide, divided by 2 times A. So all I did is I plugged in the opposite value of B, which is positive 2, 2 times A, well, the value of A is 2. Okay, so then I just went ahead and multiplied across 2 divided by 4, which is 1 half. Thank you, I don't know why I got 1 fourth. So you have 1 half. Now, we need to find the vertex. So remember when finding the vertex, Pedro, because I don't think you have this one done yet, I believe. So our vertex, now what we do is to find the y value, you plug in 1 half in for your x value. So we have 2 times 1 half squared minus 2 times 1 half plus 1. So all you do is once you find your value of x, your vertex, you, your vertex has your x value of your axis symmetry. So you take your 1 half and you plug it in for your x value. So I plug 1 half in for each of my x's. And they're going to equal your f of x, but I'm changing it to my y because I want to get an x and a y coordinate. So now you have 1 half squared, which is 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 2 is going to be 2 fourths, which is 1 half. Negative 2 times 1 half is going to be a negative 1 plus 1. So therefore, my vertex is now going to be the point 1 half comma uh, 1 half because those two terms add up to 0. So now I have a vertex of 1 half, 1 half. So let's go ahead and start graphing this and take a look at it. Okay. First of all, we know axis symmetry is at 1 half. So if it here's 1, 2, 3, 4, axis symmetry is going to be right there, down at negative 1 half. I'm sorry, at positive 1 half. Then our vertex is at 1 half, 1 half. So it's at 1 half, up 1 half. So that's going to be my vertex. Now, before we even determine max, min, or anything like that, remember what we did is we decided we can choose, pick a point to the left, and then pick a point to the right. I'm sorry, pick two points either to the left or pick two points to the right of your, of your axis symmetry. So, Thomas, what would you like to do? Pick it to the left or to pick it to the right of the axis symmetry? Pick it to the right. Now, I would choose to pick it to the left. doesn't really matter. But let's go and pick to the right. So let's pick two points to the right would be 1 and 2, right? That sounds fine. Let's just do those. So let's do, let's create a table now. 
an XY table. We already found the axis of symmetry, and then we plug that in to find the vertex. Now let's pick our two point, and Thomas wants to do one and two. So let's evaluate for f of one. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug one into your function. So you say two times one squared minus two times one plus one. So we say f of one equals one. So you go over one, up one. Now let's do f of two. Do f of two here. f of two equals two times two squared minus two times two plus one. Two squared is four, four times two is eight. Minus four plus one. So that's going to be four plus one is five. So we say f of two is equal to five. So now I go over two, over two and up five. One, two, three, four, five. All right? So ladies and gentlemen, what I have done so far by choosing two points on the right side, I've now created half of my parabola. But remember, I picked two points on the right side by on the axis of symmetry because now what I can do is I can reflect over the axis of symmetry to graph the other part of my parabola. So it's minimum. Huh? So it's minimum. And then if you if I asked you if it's a max if your vertex is a maximum or minimum, you would say it's a minimum. Whoa. Okay. Good? You're done? Yep. Okay. Is that